Hello and welcome to this week's video. We are going to look at another idiom you can use in your IELTS speaking exam. Today we will talk about far cry from. Have a look at these sentences. What do you think far cry from means? The small house I live in now is a far cry from the mansion I used to live in. And he is a great player but it is time for him to retire. His recent performances are a far cry from what they used to be during his peak years. Far cry from means something that is very different from something else. For example, in the first sentence, somebody is talking about their house. They compare the small house they live in now with the big mansion they used to live in. The sizes of the two houses are different. In the second sentence, the person is talking about a soccer player's performance. The person compares the player's recent performances with the performance of the player in the past, during his peak years. Using far cry from, the speaker is telling us that the soccer player's performances in the past were much better than his recent performances. The soccer player's past performance were much more different than his recent performances. Let us have a look at how we can use the idiom in an IELTS question. This is a part three question. And remember, part three is where the examiners make their decision on your score. Use these questions to really attack the question and use high level vocabulary. The question is, what qualities do you think a good teacher has? Let's look at an answer. Well, I think the role of the teacher has changed a lot since I was at school. The hard discipline and lack of emotion is a far cry from the empathy and understanding today's teachers have. This is a great answer. Not only does the candidate use the idiom far cry from, but the high level vocabulary word empathy is also used. The phrase far cry from comes from the 1800s. Try to use these idioms in your IELTS preparation. Thanks for watching and please comment and subscribe to our channel. If you need personal English lessons, please go to my blog and contact me. Thanks. Bye.